in this video I'm going to demonstrate my banking management app which I made using C++ so first of all I'm going to press alter plus enter to maximize the screen and I'm going to zoom in better view so these are the first initial message which will be shown only once so this is the main menu where you can choose from many options so first of all let's just open our new bank account by pressing one so the account we first have we have to first choose an account number for for new account so it it must be nine digits and can have leading zeros and it have to be unique so let's just choose a account number like one two one two one two one two one it's nine digit so it says congratulations this is available uh, so if I press it is asking for a confirmation whether I want to, to have this account number or not so let's press Y because I want this account as my account number so it says that I'm assigned with this account number so it is asking for some basic information then it, it, it will first ask your first name which is Mehraj then this last name which is Islam then your national ID number which is I'm giving a random number then my email address which is at the rate so you can press one anytime to return to the main menu and this information needs to be valid I will I will make another video where I will show the exceptions and how I will I handled the exception handlings so then it is asking for the date of birth let's uh, just give uh, 29 10 1999 it's as a date of birth so then it's asking for my phone number let's just give a random phone number okay so great my basic information is taken successfully then press enter to continue okay so here it is then asking for some intermediate information first of all it is asking for uh, the password of the account which must have to be minimum six characters and one number one uppercase and one lowercase so let's just choose my name and a one and my name's first word I gave capital so that it matches the criteria so yeah congratulations my password is set to this and I and you have to remember the password for the future actions in your account so initially you have to give some uh, some credit to your account so it have to be minimum $500 it can be more but you need to minimum um, give $500 to your account so let's just give for instance one thousand uh, dollar to my account and then it's asking for whether I want the premium VIP account or not so premium VIP account uh, lets the user to choose custom rate of compound interest which can be withdraw at any time so I'm just uh, for this account I'm not interested in in choosing this account uh, as VIP account so let's just choose this uh, say it's no I don't want VIP account then it will ask you for which type of account you want there are three types of accounts like savings account fixed deposit account and uh, the current account which is also used for business so in the savings account you have a simple interest uh, you can withdraw money anytime uh, in the fixed deposit you have to there is some like limitations when you can withdraw your account withdraw your money in the account so uh, and it has compound interest but the current account does not have any interest so I'm just choosing the second one the fixed deposit account so my account it, it is saying that my account is set to the fixed deposit right now it is asking for the today's date which is the initial date of of um, the creation date of the account so here let's just give 0101 2020 and it is the first uh, first January of 2020 uh, you can uh, see that the, the date have to be uh, have the leading zeros like when you press 1 you have to give 01 
because that's the law here. So here uh, we also need your most memorable date because as your uh, as your um, security purpose because when you will forget your password we will ask for the memorable uh, date of you so that is needed so let's just for instance give the same as the today's date the first January of 2020 so after giving all those informations you will you will have a dashboard like this where you will see your all information and you need to verify those whether those are correct or not so if those are correct you have to press Y to say yes and if those are not correct you don't want to create the account then you, you can press N which which stands for no this is not correct so uh, let me just press yes and save the account so it says the account has been saved successfully press enter to continue so let's just continue to the main menu so right now we have an account uh, of our in in this bank software so let's uh, just head to the next option which is the statement of the existing account where you can you can give your account number and password and see um, all the information about your account so let's just give our account number one two one two one two one two one so it says congratulations account number is found account number this is found so it, it is welcoming by the name Miraj Islam so here it is asking for the password so my password was Mehraj Mehraj 1 it was my password so congratulations the password is matched press enter to continue you can press 1 anytime to return to the main menu and press 2 to recover your password in case you just forget it we will show you I will show you later how you can do that so let's see my dashboard so here you can you can see your all informations in one place like a statement so you when you after watching all this information you can press one to return to the main menu so here in the third third option you can see that there is an um, option named transaction by using this option you can uh, transact transaction you can do transaction between uh, two accounts or any you can do several types of transactions let's see an example so that's, uh, first of all you need to log into your account which I I'm gonna give my account number one two one two one two one two one. Uh, it's saying that it is found. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, give my password. Mehraj one. Uh, it says that sorry the password did not match because um, what did I miss? Yeah, the M is was uppercase. Mehraj one. Yeah. Now it is saying that the congratulations the password is matched. Press enter. So here you can see the transaction mode window which is uh, asking for the date of transaction. So it is asking for the date when you want your transaction to be. So currently uh, I'm just assuming that the transaction will be at 1st January of 2021 after one year after the creation of the account. Let's for example let's see this. So I've given the date then it's asking for which type of transaction I want to do. You can send money to uh, another account of the same this same bank like in my app you can transfer money between two accounts or otherwise you can you can receive money from out, from outside of this app or outside of this bank or you can send money to an account outside of this bank. So first of all, I will just uh, see. I will send money to uh, uh, to any account outside of this bank. Let's choose three. So here it is um, saying that you have to give. Uh, you have to enter the receiver's account number. So let's just give, for instance, a random number. So it is asking for the confirmation from you that whether you really want uh, to send money to that random account or not I'm saying why which is yes I want to send then it is just asking for how much money you want to send so here you can see the balance uh, which is 1000 which I put it there so uh, I want to send um, if, if you if you want to send like 1000 uh, if you send 1010 
which is not invalid because you cannot um, send more money than you have in your account so you have to give like uh, you have to give uh, less than your balance or less than or equal to your balance so let for instance let's see uh, let's just give five hundred dollars so it's done it's transaction so to see uh, that whether the transaction is done or not let's press to the statement of the account let's once again um, log into my account give me the password okay so here you can see all my information and you see the balance is five hundred dollars which was previously one thousand dollars and uh, you can see the last transaction which is debited five hundred dollars at one one two thousand and twenty one so it's just like that so let's just press one to return to the main menu so it's just like that you can do transaction of any type you can send money in in between the accounts you can send money to other account or receive money from other account many type of things in the fourth option you can delete your account so uh, let's show you that uh, later on uh, first of all let's see the bank status let's press 5 which will show you the bank's information like bank interest rates of which account does have what type of rates and then you can have the total uh, amount of uh, status of the bank like how many savings accounts are there how many fixed deposit accounts are there how many business accounts are there how many VIP accounts are there and in the at last you can see how total how many accounts are there and then you can last in the in the very last line you can see the total reserve of the bank so the, those six accounts I added before uh, before shooting this video so let's press one to return to the main menu so here you can see the bank status like this then you can press six to update your bank information bank account information let's do one two let's first of all log in to the account which is this then you have to play you have to you have to give your password suppose we uh, suppose you forgot your password then you can press two anytime to to recover to recover your password which is this so <coughs> in the password recovery mode you can first of all give your password give your account number which is one two one two one two one two one then uh, it says that your account number is found then you will it will ask you your most memorable date which is first of January 2020 okay so you have to also give the amount of your last transaction we know that uh, the last transaction in the last transaction we we did five hundred dollars we debited so uh, um, it says password recovery failed because maybe we did not we have a mistake here so let's just see how much money did we transact the last time one two one two one two one two one it says it is found then the password is Mehraj one it is matched then you can see that the last transaction is five hundred dollar so let's just try to go to the update account information once again let's give account number one and let's give the password so it says the password is matched then you can see your uh, your informations uh, which is editable so here you can uh, choose uh, to edit the first name by pressing one and you have to enter your new first name which is I want to say it's Mehrajul not Mehraj so it it will be changed to Mehrajul then your contact number you can change any one of these you can change your memorable date whatever you can press six to uh, save and exit to the main menu so it's already saved and exit so let's uh, take uh, if it is it is changed or not and let's uh, log into my account giving by giving the password which is this so you can see that here um, here I my name is changed as Mehra Ju it is currently changed so you can update your account information from there so you can also pay the bill um, which is this so you have to first of all in the pay bill mode you have to enter your account number to continue so let's enter my account number one two one two one two one two one which is this and the password 
which is this okay I forgot to give one okay so this is, you have to first of all enter the day enter the date of the bill payment which is I will consider uh, 1st of January 2020 uh, let's say 2021 then you have to give the merchant account number to which account you want to give the bill and you have to confirm it then you have to say how much money you want to send which is $500 let's uh, say I want to pay $100 so that's like that so and then let's just check the statement for once again one two one two one two one two one and give the password and uh, you can see that your balance current balance is is like $100 uh, $100 lace which is which is $400 and you have uh, successfully transact last transaction is successfully done which is $100 debited and then you can press 1 to go to the main menu then you can uh, you can delete your account let's delete your account delete the account that we created one uh, let's give the account number one two one two one two one two one which is this then you have to give the password which is which is Mehraj one then just press enter then you can see that it is uh, it is asking for your confirmation that are you sure to delete your account and then it is saying that you will get four hundred dollar which is your balance after the deletion so press y to say yes so let's say yes okay second number at all has been has been deleted successfully so press enter to continue so so you can see that you, the account have been deleted so let's try to uh, see the statement of the account let's press 2 and uh, let's try to give the account number let's see one two one two one two one two one so you can see that invalid account number so this account has been deleted successfully from the database so uh, that, 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 that by following that way you can delete your account at any time so you can again open accounts and then do transactions or you update your information see bank status and uh, whatever you want from this and by pressing 8 you can see uh, the about this app something about some basic information about the app you can read that and then by pressing 9 you will be able to exit from the app so thanks for watching uh, this uh, video uh, welcome